Mm. Witness. Please be more accurate in your testimony. Remember, a person's life is at stake. Yeah. Y yes, Your Honor. Now then. Uh, I mean, now then. Please continue with your testimony. Please, tell the court what happened next in a moment a after you witnessed a crime. <laughs> I shit myself. What happened next? The girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. I must have been 6.45 p.m. when I made, it to this made the call. They must have a lot of free time on their hands since they showed up within 10 minutes. Yeah, that's that's around true. Hmm. So the person who was on the upper pass saw you and then ran. Yes, that is correct. Which is why even someone without a superior brain like mine could understand that. That girl is the murderer. Hmm. No rabble rabble? Ah. You may question the uh, witness now, Mr. Wright. Yes. What happened next? I, I think it's gonna be something with the time. I wanna check the evidence really quick. Like, can you fucking stop talking? Alright, uh. One of them shows the clock. From, uh, from what I can tell from the clock, I can't tell if it's 7, I can't tell if it's 6. It's around. It's around 55. So, he's some semi correct, I guess you could say. But he died at 6.28, so 10 minutes after it happened, it would be 6.38. Something fucking happened between there, so the time difference, the time of death thing right here should be the thing to be able to push it off, I believe. What the fuck, that scared me. My ice flew up in my bottle, and <laughs> it scared me. Alright. <coughs> Present everything, just, I mean, press everything so we can get uh, information. Hold it! Hold it there, boy. She ran away just like that? Yes, she did. She saw me and flew the nest like a guilty bird she is. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that a pun too hard for someone who only got the third rate education? You son of a fucking bitch. How dare you do puns in a game where puns are, uh, are godlike? Actually, that didn't take a few seconds to get. Anyway, uh, if she ran away, the instant she saw you, how could you tell it was my client? <laughs> the witness has already answered that question. He has stated that the defendant is the culprit. Ah, that's not your voice. This is true, Mr. Wright. I'm striking your question for the record. Ah, how can I get more information out of him? I have to present something. I know it has to deal with the time. The time is the thing. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. Hold it! Immediately? As in... As in immediately, I mean. Sure, a minute might have elapsed before I did, but... That's the duty of every good citizen, or did they not teach you in a pitiful school? You think people learn about how to call pe police in a college? Hey, Nick, I think you should take a look at the court records for a sec. Yeah, I know. I... I did... <laughs> I deduced this already. I'm good at assuming. <laughs> what? It must have been 6.45. Time of death was 6.28. So 6.38. Uh, if he says it would have been 10 minutes afterwards, right? After that, immediately called it. Wait, hold on, no. No, 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 no. Immediately. Bitch! After that, I immediately called the police station. Dude died at 6... 6, uh... 6... Hold on. Uh, what I'm trying to say right, but I just confused myself right now. The dude died at 6... 628, right? He called at 645. What the fuck were you doing in those, uh... Fucking, I don't even know, uh, 17 minutes. Is that 17 minutes? Is it? 28, so that's 30, so that's 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Okay, I'm correct. Alright. <clears throat> 17 minutes, alright. 
17 minutes he had done something. 10 minutes they came at 6.55, which the photos were taken around 6... Uh, 6.50, which you can see on the clock. Here... No, that's not the clock. THAT'S NOT THE FUCKING CLOCK! <laughs> you see the clock? It's very hard to see. I can barely see it. I doubt you guys can see it. You can tell some of the little hands at 6 and the big hands somewhere around, uh, you know, the 11 area, 6.55. They came minute, 10 minutes afterwards. Uh... So... Wait, hold on. Where's the... Let me... Let me fucking present this. OBJECTION! OBJECTION! Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. So what of it? You said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45 p.m. Excuse me. That is clearly a 15-minute gap here. Do you deny it? It's actually 17 minutes, right? But that's okay. You don't have to be precise. Yeah! I think this Kurt would like to hear what you were doing during the 15-minute gap. Yeah. The witness was in shock at the time after witnessing a terrible murder. It, it, it's only to be expected that he, he he would be a little dazed. I don't think people will be dazed for that long. Fifteen minutes is hardly what I would call a little dazed. Ah! Mr. Wellington. It, y yes. Uh, explain yourself. What were you doing during those fifteen minutes? Answer the question. I, uh, t telephone, uh, I mean, uh, spit it out. I, I was searching for a phone booth. A phone booth? You mean you don't have a cell phone? Uh, you, and your questions, uh, as if you were trying to open all the la layers, uh, la layers of a mm, matryoshka doll. Babushka. You must think you're really something special. Witness. I, I lost my cell phone. There, are you happy? You lost it. Unbelievable. You lose your glasses and your cell phone? You must be very scatterbrained when it comes to your belongings. What? Are you saying that the first-rate people are never allowed to use to lose things? Haven't you ever... Hello! 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 Ah! Ah! I'll drink the ring this time. Enough. Aw oh, man, aw oh, man. I fucking spilled water all over my hand and all over my controller. <laughs> oh no. Wait a- hold on a second, he lost his cell phone. Nick, the cell phone, could it be? You mean this phone's Maggie found? That- there's no way. Boy, I didn't see this coming, what should I do now? Question further, homie. Mr. Wellington, where's your cell phone right now? <laughs> what are you getting all excited about? You mean to seem to be, uh, you seem to be a little confused. I found my cell phone, I have you know. See? Here it is. Oh, I see. <sighs> it looks like he's got his cell phone. And I thought there's, uh... That just maybe that was his. Hmm. Well then, I think we cleared up this issue. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have his cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in his call uh, was caused by the search of the phone booth. I don't know. There was a phone booth right fucking in front of him. Well, that's the gist of it. I guess he could put it that way and leave it at that. Do you have any other further questioning, Mr. Wright? Uh, there is something, homie. Yeah. Your Honor, the witness testimony does not make sense. I don't believe that there was ever need to witness for to search for a phone. <laughs> How dare you! You can't just make outrageous claims like that! You don't have some sort of proof, don't you? Well... Yeah, of course. Uh, this evidence should be good enough, I think. Alright, let's have the proof then. Please, 
Is that the proof that the witness had no need to say for Pepper Topo? Excuse me, people. Yeah. Let me check it really quick. I think it's this one, yeah? Just check this one. Alright, that one's just with Maggie. Dude spelled it wrong, too. Alright, uh... One, two, three... TAKE THAT! Take that! It's quite simple, actually. Uh, please take a look at this. At the crime scene photo. Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's something wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand mind logic after looking at it, there's something wrong with you. N no Yugi boy. It's... it's a phone booth. That is correct. All the defendant had to do was walk three steps. Mr. Wellington, why did you not use the phone that was right in front of you? Ugh. Rabble, rabble, rabble. He's choking himself. Autoerotic infestation. Uh, order, order. What, what does this reporting, uh, what does the reporting of the crime a little late prove to you for you? The witness can't explain what he was doing in those 15 minutes. That is the reason enough to throw suspicion on his testimony. Yes, this is very true. What do you have to say for yourself, witness? Then I bet this phone really is his, Nick. He must have killed Dustin to get his phone back. But Maggie said that she was going to return it to him. So there, there was no reason for him to kill for it. And on top of that, we still have the phone she found anyway. But it was... But if he wasn't looking, uh, looking for a cell phone, was he looking for something else? Was he... Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any thoughts that you would like to share with the court? Can you offer an explanation as to what the witness was doing during those 50 minutes? Yes, I have an idea. There's only one possible explanation. Alright, let's hear your explanation. However, be forewarned that if your explanation is not persuasive, you will be penalized. Think carefully before you present, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. <sighs> I probably shouldn't have said there was only one possibility. Oh god. Please present to the court the one piece of evidence that will uh, will answer the following. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? Fucking bullshit. It has to be the cell phone. Maggie found this in the park. She got into contact with its owner. But the thing never showed. Uh, I think it's this. Take that! Take that! <laughs> Perhaps this is the evidence you need to be convinced. Perhaps. <laughs> it's just an idea I thought I'd throw out. I suggest that perhaps you should find a better piece of evidence. Yes, of course, Your Honor. Well then. But before you do, you will be penalized. No! I thought that was going to be it. Ouch. Please present the court uh, the one piece of evidence that will answer the following. Why didn't a witness call the police right away? Holy shit, now this is one thing I really don't know. I don't know if this is something I have to do, or I'm just putting myself in a quarter for the reason. Maggie, why did the witness call the police right away? Is this it? Because he was writing fucking name? It is fancy, like you see the G's, the G's are fancy. Huh. I'm at a loss for words right here. I need to start a new recording, by the way. I don't think there's anything, but why would they be showing the penalized thing? I'm thinking names list, but that's not really anything. Glasses found on a victim's body. Pieces of nearsighted lenses were found nearby. 
Because he was trying to look for his glasses? I... Ah. Take that! Mr. Wellington. Oh, what? D don't do that. You almost made me have a heart attack. These are your glasses, aren't they? Uh, where, where, where did you find... Uh, I believe that the court all heard what you just confessed to. That these glasses are your, uh, are in the fact yours. Rabble, 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 how do you know? I tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found right under the victim's body. Un under the victim's body? Rabble, rabble, rabble. Order, order. N now wait a second, hold on, hold on. I, I, I didn't confess to a confirm or anything. Your Honor, I think the answer is quite clear here. As he fell, Dustin Prince grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and searched frantically for them. What he didn't realize was that they were under the victim's body. And that is why he took them 50 minutes to take, uh, to make that call. Rabble, rabble, rabble! How the fuck he find that out? <laughs> M Mr. Wright, are you... Are you indicting the witness as the real murderer? Of course. That is precisely what I'm doing. Ooh, ah. Ooh. I know I'm right. He is the real murder. Did you figure it out, Nick? More or less. Turns out the cell phone was the key to the case after all. Anyway, now is our chance to du uh, deep six this guy. I'll seek into them in one shot. Yeah! This is so exciting watching you work again! Somehow my whole self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of the knife. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Order! Order! Your Honor! The defense! The defense is making a mockery of this court! Without any solid ground to stand on, he accuses the witness of being the murderer! You, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's right. I, I'm not, I'm no criminal. I said this, this third-rate fraud of a lawyer. In that case, why don't we look at what's in front of, uh, uh, in that case, why don't we look at it from a different perspective? Let's hear your explanation as to why you're not the murderer. Why? That's, that's easy. Um, I, um, for example, there's a, there's the name of the, uh, the victim wrote, what about that? Oh, you mean the name Maggie? Yeah, e even an idiot like, uh, like you can read that, right? But we already know that was not written by the victim himself. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie, and the, the victim was left-handed. So basically, you're saying in order to make the defendant look guilty, the real criminal used the victim a right hand to write his or her hand on the ground. But, 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 would it that mean the real criminal who, who some, uh, was someone the defendant knew? Otherwise, how else would the person know her name was Maggie or uh, McGee? That is a good point. The witness didn't even know as of Mr. Bird before the trial. I forgot. Ah. Oh. Is there any way the creep could have known Maggie's name beforehand? Actually, hold on. Did, uh... Maggie found this park. She got in contact with his owner, but they never showed. There was a way. It has to be with the phone again. Uh, it would be best if I could prove to the witness uh, had a chance to learn that the defendant's name was Maggie. Now, will the defense please present the case? How could the witness have known the defendant's name? It has to be because she contacted him, right? Take that! Take that. Fucking bullshit, I wanna yell at you. Mr. Wellington, you didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? Will you realize you have lost it? What did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why, you? How did you? Your Honor, these questions have nothing to do with... Overruled. Mr. Wright, why are you going uh, going with this line of questioning? Do you think there is some re uh, relation between witness cell phone and the murderer? I do, Your Honor. 
On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up the lost phone on the park. And she also receives a, a phone call from the uh, from the owner of the phone. I am the phone. Beep. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? I, I'm glad you called. Uh, we can meet back up. I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. Was she holding breadsticks? Oh no, it was, <laughs> it was the glove. Looked like she was holding some bread loaves, breadsticks in, in her bag. That was when you learned that her name was Maggie. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake. My client's name is Maggie, but the name that was written on the ground was Maggie. This is a mistake that could have only occurred if you knew what uh, what her name sounded. <sighs> is there a special way to say her name? I think it would be the same. Order, order. But, but, Your Honor, the witness has no motive. And your point is? It's very simple, Your Honor. A, a person usually will not kill someone without a reason. But Mr. Willington had no reason to kill anyone. That is absolutely correct. I don't have a motive. Mr. Wright. Your Honor, can you explain the motive the witness could have had? It's very simple, Your Honor. Are you sure, Nick? If I said I can't offer explanation, then the trial's over, right? Yeah, but... Oh, God. Now then, please present the court the proof of the motive. The motive needs to be the nameless, right? Take that! Take that! Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this? A list? These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone, uh, the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on the list are members of a certain group. You, you looked up all those numbers. Of course. This is a list of numbers, uh, was stored in a cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to the people who are members of a certain con artist group. W what C -c con artist? Can you explain what these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Willington? This this is is an outrage, an invasion of privacy. L looking up a phone numbers of a person's phone is worse crime than murder. You you're the one of those people. You're the brilliant of the mur mur Utrilio. I don't care, Mr. Wellington. All I want is for you to tell us what the list is about. Do you think any of you can know what it's like to be refi a refined man like me? Your Honor, this, this is this is unjust uh, badgering of the witness. Objection overruled. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Why would the witness have these numbers in the group of con artists on his phone? Isn't that obvious? The witness is looking into the group, a victim of that group, a member of that group. A member of that group! Mr. Wellington is a member of the very group. Yeah! All your friends' phone numbers are stored right here on the phone. If anyone of them were to look into those phone numbers, it would be all over for you. That is why you had to kill. No! No, this is not too much. Rabble, rabble. What a fucking idiot. Try to lie. Hmm, this does make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Willington, would you care to explain? I, um, I. I got you now. I, I, that, I. The police officer. Your Honor. What is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor, this, 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 this is unjust badgering of the witness. You said the exact same thing only a few seconds ago. P -p -p please, please, let's think about the content of the phone calls. Beep. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Ah, uh, I'm glad you, I'm glad you called. Uh, I'm glad we can meet, meet up and I can get this back. 
and the defendant had already promised uh, she would return the phone. After that, all Mr. Willington had to do was meet Miss Bird to get his phone back. Why then would he need to kill anyone? Hmm. This is a valid point. What does the defendant think about the point? <sighs> if you think about it logically, then it makes sense. Then maybe we should think of outside of the box. Yeah. We think like that, then let's see. Maybe the slime ball saw something on the crime scene that would make him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Well, I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up the phone in a very familiar, man friendly manner. But he was promised his phone, so why would he have been unfriendly to the defendant? I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Well then, Mr. Wright. What was that something that didn't agree with the witness? Uh, the fact that he was a cop, I think, right? Oh, shit. I would have presented my badge like an asshole. All right? Take that! Yes, I got it right! What Mr. Wellington saw was the victim. Not the victim. You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince is gone on his date right after a shift was over. Uh, with no time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Oh. The girl that picked up my phone is, is with a policeman. He could have known that they were going out, uh, so, uh, so he began to worry. He's afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If I do anything suspicious, he might run a check on my phone. In his mind, it is possible that they already run a check on his phone. And he went into a panic, is that what you're saying? Exactly. Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. 